Hello, Randy Rain here, and look what I have. Another one of these Duck Dodgers and the 24 and a half century animated dioramas. Uh, someone saw my video fixing one of these and said, hey, I have one of those too that needs fixing. And so they sent it to me, and that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see how correct I got it. So let's have a close look here. You can see that this one is 5,741 out of the 9,500. The other one I did was in the 200s, so this is a little bit later one. Okay, let's flip it over. Let's have a look at this battery door that I recreated. I can see now that it has these little prongs right here. So it slides this way. I was wondering what those two little dimples were. It had these little prongs in there that locked it in place. But as far as the other parts, I got pretty close to it. That's a pretty good guess. Not perfect, but still, I was just guessing. Now let's have a look at these screws. I found black M2.5 screws that seem to work. Seems like they're bigger. Yeah, these are a little bit bigger than the ones that I put in there, at least longer. I don't know what ones they are, but I don't know. Mine worked. Close enough. Go ahead and take it all apart. And you want to start at the corner and try to get these tabs to come out. There it goes. And once again, undo this one screw right here. And then you can pull this. That will disconnect the button that starts the thing so you can get rid of the whole piece here. Get it out of the way. And so here we are. Need to take this off. Looks pretty close to what I replaced it with. And this piece can come off. And there we are. I see this little capacitor down here was is glued into a different spot. It was down here. A little bit of a difference there. Everything else seems the same. I don't remember these bars right here on the other one. Hmm, I'll have to go back and look to see if those are there or not. I don't remember that. That's interesting. Don't think they were there. Then I'm pretty sure these bars right here are just holding that panel to keep from sinking in. That's about all they do. Oh, here you go. Look up here. I noticed there's a missing circuit here. There was a little circuit right here on the other one that had some chips on it. This little circuit right here with the little epoxy bubble wasn't there on the other one. That's interesting. Everything tries to work, so start with the gearboxes because I think that's probably what it is. It's not being able to go through all of its sequences because the things aren't being able to move and these limit switches here are not being activated. So let's open this one up. Four screws here holding this gearbox in place. And there it is. Split gear. Which makes it just spin. Alright, so I can just pop that gear off. Get one of my replacement gears. Put that on. That goes like that. And now I can replace this part. And that gearbox should be fixed. Now to gearbox number two. Let's have a look at this one. Actually, this one looks okay. I'm not seeing a split gear on this one. I don't know if I should replace it or not. You know, I'm going to go ahead and be nice and replace this gear. It's probably about to break anyway. I don't want to go to all this trouble to fix this thing and then have it just break again. So I'll put a new one on there. There we go. Alright, let's check out the third gear box here. Yep, here's another one. That one's no good as well. Alright, so let's pop that one off. We'll take a new one. Put that one back on there. Try to see if this thing works. I put batteries into it. I'm going to turn it on. Make connection here. That's 
twerking. That's working. That's working. This needs to be fixed here. Because this is wrong. This should be pointing out and it didn't want to go up as well. I'm not sure what's going on here. I need to have a closer look. Now the first thing is this should be pointed up so you can't see it. For some odd reason, it's been moved down. So I'm going to unscrew this. It has glue on it. I think I'm just going to break this glue. I'm going to run through it again, see what happens. Yep, had an error right there. It stopped. Try again. Because this is how it's supposed to start right here with this up. So reset it, turn it back on and off, and it should go. That should go down. Come down now. Okay, that's right. The other side will come down. That's working. Flash. problem right there. It didn't reset. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, I put in new batteries. Some of the batteries seem to be pretty weak, so I have a feeling that's what was causing a lot of the problems. I ran through it just now, and it seemed to be doing good, so I'm going to replace this, but I'm pretty sure it works now. Let's give it a shot. Am I a button? Planet has hereby claimed for the Earth in the name of Dodgers in the 24th and a half century. Yeah, something's. Planet, it's still confused it's right now. There it goes. Now it's getting. I have already claimed this bit of dirt for the Earth, and they're just staying room enough on this planet for the two of us. Now this oh come down oh, next. Down. And this side should come down. Okay, flash. Down. And then this should come down. Correct. And now it should reset, bringing this main piece up. Okay. All right, let's run through again, make sure that's correct. Dot. Yes, correct. 
Now it should come up here. Correct. I claim this planet in the name of Mars. Okay. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Yep, yeah, correct. I have already claimed this bit of dirt for the Earth, and there just ain't room enough on this planet for the two of us. Oh dear. Next, the no, big I weapon should I come down. Okay, next weapon should come down. Now I use my secret weapon. Flash. Okay. Now this should come down, correct? And that should reset everything. That's working. Okay, that's working. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece off on the front here and clean it up some. A lot of dust have gotten down inside there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slide this out. This is the front piece here. There's a lot of something here. Might as well give it a good clean. Got all the screws back, so now this piece goes on. Let's see, it went like that. This held the wire in place. And that goes like that. Before I tighten it up, I'm going to go ahead and put it into place here. Now I'll tighten it up. Make sure that one's tight. Now the lid can go back on. Alright, so it's back together. Time to put these screws back into the bezel. And we'll be done. Alright, let's see it in action. Volume up, power on. <laughs> again another one of these animated animations looney tunes dioramas working again uh, this one to be honest when i got it put back together it still had some issues come to find out what it was is that it just was tight in there so i went and lubed everything up loosened some stuff up so it would run freely and it seems to be working perfectly now if it ever has some trouble doing something and it goes bing like that makes that weird noise that could be what it is or your batteries are low and it can't move it or something like that that is an issue i found on this one so once again if you have something like this one of these dioramas or a robot or a toy or a game of some sort and you want me to fix it hey contact me plenty of ways down in the description to get a hold of me so again thank you for watching please give it a like and subscribe bye
told us you'll have to use force.